Hi guys, welcome back. Almost a 5 year old phone which still runs the latest OS, well that's the iPhone 7. And this phone even now has some great features for the price it's selling. Well getting a new iPhone 7 might be a bit difficult in some countries but then there's the used or the refurbished option and in India well you might be able to get a new one from Amazon depending on when you're watching this video and the pricing keeps fluctuating a lot. But then used phone options should be there for a long time and at present which is towards the end of March in 2021. Well a 32GB used iPhone 7 should cost somewhere in the 12,000 to 15,000 Indian rupees range and this pricing is usually for a good to excellent condition phone with battery health from 85 to 90 percent. But even then, should you consider buying the iPhone 7 might be a big doubt for many who is looking to get an iPhone in this price range. And this video is to help you with that. Well, firstly itself, if you plan to buy an iPhone 7, a couple of things to note is that you should have a love for small size phones and also you shouldn't be a heavy user. And the reason I'm stating this is because, as you can see, the iPhone 7 for 2021 is a compact phone. It's slim and looks very sleek and here the display since there is huge bezels is a small one measuring 4.7 inches. And the iPhone 7's form factor is an easy one-handed usage friendly type which is a great plus for anyone looking to buy such a phone. And also this display even though in terms of the specifications looks very boring, it's still a good quality panel. I'm pretty sure that the majority won't complain about the display being an IPS LCD one and also for sure most won't have any concern that the display resolution is just a bit higher than 720p. Because here for daily usage, if you take the small size factor apart, well then this display even now has neat viewing angles and also it does get fairly bright enough for outdoor usage and also features like 3D touch is an advantage. And hence if you do some casual browsing or if you scroll through Instagram feed, well all that stuff looks sharp and even if you load a game or maybe play a YouTube video, well they all look good but since the display is on the smaller side, well media consumption experience is not very enjoyable. And that's the reason I did state that if you plan to buy an iPhone 7, you should be very much interested in a compact phone with a small display for 2021 standards. And if you fall into such a category, well then the second important thing creeps in, which is the battery backup. Well given the fact that the iPhone 7 is a very slim phone, an expected thing is that the battery size will be small and yeah that's very true because this battery is just a 1960mAh one. So that's very small if you compare with an Android phone and even with an iPhone comparison it's not a sufficiently sized one. And yeah if you're gonna get a used iPhone 7 well then you must keep an eye on the battery health. Because here the unit I'm having has 93% battery health and even with that the screen on time I was getting was approximately in the 2.5 to 3 hour range even if the use was falling in the average case scenario. So if it's like a heavy use situation, well then this number will be less. And that's a clear indication that this phone is not for everyone. It's basically for light users. And even so, you might be looking for a charger before the end of the day. And yet this phone doesn't support fast charging. So if you want to top the battery from 0% to 100% with the included 5W charger, well it's gonna take somewhere in the 1.5 to 2 hour range. So that's very slow and here one more thing to keep notice that the only charging option available is wired charging and for that the port used in the iPhone 7 is the lightning port. And here something that you might be familiar with is that this is the only port in the phone because the phone doesn't have a headphone jack. So that's the battery situation and here these are the core things to note if you're planning to buy an iPhone 7 in 2021 because these issues might probably be a concern for many and hence the ones who are gonna look past this is either very light users or maybe users who are looking forward in using the iPhone 7 as a secondary phone. And if you're a person who falls in that category, well then you'll be interested in the rest of the video. And actually the rest of the stuff are mostly plus points or positives of the iPhone 7 even in 2021. And in that the first strong point even now for the iPhone 7 is without doubt the performance and future support. The processor that powers everything is the Apple A10 Fusion chip and here the RAM available is just 2GB but even with that, this phone still performs like a little champ. Normal tasks are smooth and lag free and here all this happens without a higher refresh rate screen. And also if you want to do some intense gaming or some other heavy task, well even then the phone still keeps up. Graphic intense games work without a lot of frame drops or hiccups and hence the gameplay is enjoyable. But while doing such stuff, the only main issue was that the phone does get toasty. You can feel the back and side portion getting hot to touch so that's something to keep note of. And also the RAM management is not that good too. Four apps stay open in memory if it's moderately heavy ones but here such apps actually load fast so that's something which will help with the user experience. And here one major highlight thing is that the phone still runs the latest version of iOS which is iOS 14 
and by Apple standards, the iPhone 7 should be getting the next major software update, so that's a big plus point. And this upper hand thing can actually be seen even with the camera system in the iPhone 7. But the camera strong point is when we set the pricing under the 15,000 Indian rupees range. And in that segment, I think the iPhone 7's camera system is without doubt still a great performer. Well, here there isn't any dual camera setup available, but instead it's just a single shooter which is a good one. It's a 12 megapixel f1.8 aperture wide angle camera which has optical image stabilization and here this camera can record 4K video at 30 fps. So that spec by itself is strong for the segment and here about the shots, well they're not spectacular but still it's good if there is proper lighting. The colors are true to life and the details are to an extent well managed with not so bad dynamic range. And overall with a bit of tweaking, shots captured in good lighting looks pretty neat. But here that good lighting situation is very important because when light fades, shots becomes grainy and not so usable. But that said, with video recording, well, this phone is the best even if we compare it with a 20,000 Indian rupees phone. The videos are stable with proper color reproduction and yet there isn't any major focusing issue happening. So overall, if we capture video in 1080p at 60 FPS, the outcome is pretty crisp. But with the front camera, well, things are not very exciting. It's a 7 megapixel f2.2 aperture shooter which is capable of recording 1080p video at 30 fps and here the selfies this camera captures is just fine. There isn't any skin tone smoothing issue but overall the selfies doesn't look that sharp. And here also I was more impressed by the videos captured. It's not that stable like the rare camera but still the selfie videos looks nice. And overall about the camera system, well even though I did miss the ultra wide angle camera option, well for the price range that it's considered, I feel the extra sensor missing thing is not at all a concern. Because here the outcome from the cameras we are getting is good and that's what gives the iPhone 7 even in 2021 its big advantage in the camera department. And this advantage thing does extend to the build quality too. I think this phone is still one of the best in terms of build quality. The aluminium casing is the key highlight and that accompanied with the proper sealing of the display glass with the casing still keeps this phone very sturdy. There is no gap or flexing issue and the unit that I am having is a 2 year old unit and even then the buttons all work great. There is proper tactile feedback and also the camera lens which protrudes out a bit does stay scratch free. Now the design does look a bit dated from the front because of the chunky bezels but since the phone is very compact and lightweight well that covers the bezel issue and hence if we get the black front glass iPhone 7 well those units still looks attractive. And here in the bottom you do get one of the best unlocking method to date which is Touch ID. And the system used in the iPhone 7 is the faster version of the Touch ID which is embedded in the glass portion which acts like a home button. And here since this portion is not a physical button, it does work great even after long term use and here the taptic engine which is the vibration system is what makes this glass portion feel like a button when you try to press it. So from that itself you might get the idea that the vibration system in the iPhone 7 is still one of the best. But that best thing is not applicable with the speaker system used even though it's a dual speaker setup. Now the reason I'm stating so is because the loud level is not that good enough. But then for calls, well the earpiece does work fine. And also if in case you're wondering about the Bluetooth version of the phone, well it's 4.2 and about the Wi-Fi version, it's dual band Wi-Fi and here the phone does have all the sensors and there is NFC available which can be used for Apple Pay. And by the way one more thing to notice that, the iPhone 7 is IP67 rated which is something that's surely not going to be seen in phones in this segment. And lastly this phone just supports one SIM which must be a nano SIM and obviously it's not a 5G supported slot. So that's everything about the iPhone 7 in 2021. And here from all this, well the iPhone 7 is still a great phone in a lot of stuff if we place it in the 15,000 Indian rupees price range. Some features of the iPhone 7 are still just available in higher end phones but then there are stuff which is missing too. But overall even now if you are a person who is comfortable with the two things that I mentioned in the beginning which is the display and battery, well then this phone is one you can consider as maybe a secondary phone. But then also if you plan to do so, well please do check the battery health and the condition because battery health is very important and for sure the one I'll recommend is only the units with at least 85% battery health or above. That's all for this video guys, hope you liked it. If so a like is much appreciated and a sub to the channel will be awesome. See you again in the next one, till then, bye.